Hi guys, Anthony and John from The Hot End. In this episode we're going to be looking at the Anycubic Cossel, which is a Delta printer. And we'll go through some of the design features and specs right after this. Okay, so John's been on holiday for a few weeks or a few months up in Queensland and he has just come back and assembled this beast for us to review. So I'll let him go through some of the um, challenges that he faced with the build and how the thing performs. No worries, thanks Anthony. Yep, had a great break, thanks, up in uh, tropical North Queensland for a few months. I even got the suntan to prove it. So as soon as I got back, we were th I was thrown straight back into uh, getting some of these videos out. So. The first one I did was this uh, little delta. This is the any cubic delta that uh, came in uh, a nice big box and is a start from scratch build kit, which means there's nothing pre-assembled. You have to do the whole thing. So it comes with a good set of instructions. So I set about building this thing uh, purely with the tools that were provided, except for a pair of pliers and a couple of things, and this manual. I didn't use any of the, the uh, video tutorials or, or anything that's linked in here, just the book. How long did it take? Right, it took me uh, six hours all up to, uh, to assemble it, which isn't too bad really. Uh, mind you, I've assembled a few by now, so I sort of knew what I was doing. For a newbie, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, now, uh, there are three versions of this uh, which are noted in the manual. Um, one is the base version, which is what this is, which just uses uh, belts and uh, wheel, V-track wheels. Uh, the other two versions actually have the uh, ball bearing track. System. Linear yeah. rails. The, yeah, rails. Um, but this is the basic one. And I imagine that's why I had all these parts left over, because uh, it must be a generic parts thing. Okay. The parts all came sorted in little plastic bags and labelled. Uh, everything was labelled, which was really, really handy. You didn't have to worry about trying to find this bolt or that bolt. It was all nicely set out which is probably why it only took six hours. Um, okay. It se sounds nice and quiet, like the um, steppers sound nice and tuned. Yes, uh, I've done no tuning whatsoever to this printer. Uh, I've done no e-steps, I've done no voltages, except for the extruder, which uh, I was having problems with uh, missing steps with the extruder, so I did tune the uh, voltage for the extruder. But that wasn't what the problem was, but we'll get to that. Uh, we should also mention too, this printer is $189. Yeah. Uh, I was going to get to that because um, regardless of what I say about this printer and the build and how it all works, yeah. keep in the back of your mind, it's $180, all right? I've spent more than that on a hot end. Like, really, $180 for a printer that works. That's crazy. <laughs> So, put it all together. Now, um, as I said, I've been away, so I'm out of practice a bit. So, uh, firstly, I haven't uh, used a Bowden set up for a long time, which this is, of course. Uh, and I haven't used the um, E3D set up nozzles, is that what they are? Yeah. Um, of which this is obviously a clone, but uh, it's an E3D set up. Hey, if it works, it works. And uh, Yeah, it does. Once I uh, remembered something that Tom did in one of his videos, and that is uh, the assembly of the thing, I actually assembled it incorrectly, and, and uh, that's why I was having so much trouble with jamming and, and clogging and all sorts of stuff to start with, yeah. as you'll see from some of these prints. But once I sorted that out and got the, uh, the nozzle uh, actually uh, nice and snug against the throat rather than the heat block, um, it just worked. Uh, it prints beautifully. Now, there's no heated bed with this, as you would expect for 100 and whatever it was. Yeah. Um, 
So you're basically limited to PLA and maybe PETG, depending. Um, I don't know what the stuff is that they give you to put on this glass uh, bed. It looks like a um, yeah. build, build tech it's clone. It's sort of a build tech type thing, but believe me, PLA sticks like shit to a blanket. You cannot, really, it, it's really good. So I haven't tried pet G yet. I wonder if you could do ABS on a um, PLA raft. Yeah, you possibly could. You possibly could. Um, all right, some specs of the machine. Now, excuse me while I read this bit. It's um, got a build volume of uh, 180 by 300, so naturally being a circle. Uh, 300 high, which I printed this, uh, which is pretty close to full volume. Uh, it's it's actually the actual volume of this is about 315, uh, but this is printed at 300. Um, and I, as I said, I had a lot of uh, clogging and jamming issues while this was printing, so it's not the best print, but at least it shows you how big it prints. What else is there? Um, it's got position accuracy down to 0 0.01 millimetres. It's so 100 micron for your prints? Yep. It's got a layer resolution, it says down to 0.4, but you know, yeah. yeah. Um, I've printed down to 0.12, which is this print and this print. Um, and this was the last one that I did once I got it all working nicely. And that that is a perfect Vars print. There's, I cannot fault that in any way. Um, what else do you need to know about it? I can't even. Yeah. Sorry, I can't even see any of the um, standard um, fish scaling or no. salmon skinning. What there's, they get off um, there's, deltas. There's none of those artifacts. There's uh, everything is uh, stuck well, like it won't crack. Uh, the base didn't come off when I took it off the print bed, which is unusual for me. Um, what else do you need to know? It's, uh, it says in here it'll print PLA, ABS, hips and wood, but yeah, the, the, um, the other versions of this with the rails actually has a heated bed, so that's why that's in there. Um, what else do you need to know? It prints from an SD card, it's got your standard uh, USB, uh, sorry, LCD uh, controller screen there. Yep. Um, it's got none of the fancy stuff like um, filament runouts and restarts and stuff like that. It's very, very basic, as you would expect. Does it have a print fan? Uh, it comes with a print fan. Yeah. Yay! Finally, the printer manufacturers, after me rattling on about it for months, this one does come with a print fan and duct. And it's pointed in the right direction, believe it or not. It so actually not at the nozzle? Not at the nozzle, it points at the print, which is brilliant. I love it. Uh, so how, how fast will this thing go? Well, the Benchy that it's printing at the moment is printing at 60. Um, let's see if we can crank it up a bit. We'll see how fast we can get it to go. Uh, I would imagine a Delta should be able to handle 80 to 100. I've lifted that up now to 200%. So that's theoretically 120 and we'll see what happens. It's still nice and quiet. It is, it is. Now, the, uh, the power supply that comes with it is, is tiny because there's no heated bed, but that's fine. It's got a separate switch, so you can uh, switch it on and off, and the power supply plugs into the board so there's no mucking around with high voltage wiring because that's all done for you. So this won't burn your house down? It will not burn your house down. Uh, I would be happy to leave this printing overnight. Yeah, uh, it's, it's fine. Now, a couple of things that I like about it. It's got a nice all metal extruder. Um, this screw keeps coming out, but that's no big deal. That just holds the base of the spring. Uh, so it's an all metal extruder. It's exposed, which I like. It's direct drive, so I can see what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, runs through PTFE tubing, of course, because it's Bowden back down to the hot end, which I already said. Is it Bowden or Bowden? Uh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting dry. It is only coffee, by the way. We do. <laughs> no, it's only coffee. A few shots of rum. 
Now, other things I like about it, uh, everything fitted nicely as it should. Um, the corner brackets, which is um, it's a triangle naturally, uh, the aluminium extrusion fitted in where it was supposed to, it's all nice and tight, it screws in tight even though these are injection moulded corners, yep. still screwed in tight. So not 3D printed though? No, no. It's no. all dead square or dre dead triangular. Um, Everything fitted together really well. The wiring went together really well. It was just a matter of plug and play, basically, with the wiring. Stick that in there and stick that in there and away you go. Um, other things I like about it was, the, as I said, the print uh, surface, which is really, really good. But other than that, everything else is pretty generic. For $180, it's pretty generic, okay? Things I didn't like, well, first off, would you recommend it to somebody that wants a cheap printer? Yes and no, and I'm going to t I'll clarify that. For a newbie that's just starting out that's never had a 3D printer, probably wouldn't recommend them start with, your, with a Delta, to start with any Delta. Having said that, um, a newbie with this manual could put it together and could get it printing, so yes, um, that would be okay. What I would recommend this printer for is for people that have been printing on your standard RepRap type printers that want to have a play with a, with a Cossel Delta type printer. Yep. Um, it's a perfect thing to uh, get used to the style of that type of printer. And for $180, hey, have a play with it, print a few things, and if you don't like it, just throw it away. You know? Jeez. A smoothie board costs yeah. more than that printer. You know, you use it for spare parts if you want. But having said that, it does print really, really well. Um, things that I didn't like about it, there's a couple of spots where the screws actually just screw into the plastic. They don't have a metal nut. Um, so, yeah, it, like it works, but yeah. Longevity might be a problem. Yeah. I wouldn't buy this to print 24-7 parts for a business. Like, this is to play with. Um, what else was there? The, uh, the plastic parts were fine, as I said. Uh, the wiring went together fine. This, this cord here just sort of flops about. It really needs something to... I, I had a piece of wire that I, that I tied it up with. Uh, just to keep it up out of the way. It's a shame they couldn't extend it and route it in from the yeah, top. It would have been better, but hey, it, it's fine. Um, what else didn't I like? Oh, the, the belts. The belts are just ordinary cheapo rubber or plastic belts. They're not fibrous belts. Yeah. So you're not going to get longevity out of them either, and you will get some stretch. But, phew, you know. Um, there's no bed levelling on the bed itself. Being a, a Delta type printer, you do that via the end stop switches and the little screws in the top here. So you adjust them in and out, which adjusts your home position, which then adjusts your bed level. That's fine. The bed itself just sits on these, uh, what have we got, two, four, six little uh, brackets. There's nothing to stop it from rotating or moving while you're printing. Okay, these, uh, we've just changed the camera. These are the screws that I was talking about that you adjust your levelling with. Um, now the build plate is, uh, it's, as I said, glass and it's got build tack on it, but there's nothing actually holding it in place. And I couldn't get these brackets to grab it tight enough, but if you're like me and you tend to fiddle around, and especially if it's got supports, you tend to sort of pick at the supports while it's printing, things that you shouldn't do. It, it can move uh, quite easily. Uh, so what, what I did was just get a couple of bits of blue tack and just sat them like so. Just like that. And now it can't move. Even use a bit of painter's tape? Yeah, anything really. It's just so that it won't rotate. Like if you kick the printer or trip over it or something. Um, I was using it on a, um, one of my favourite IKEA black tables, which as you know are hollow. So I put a piece of, uh, of foam underneath it uh, to quieten it down. But as you can see, on a solid table, it, it's very quiet. Anything else I didn't like about it? Well, nothing, really. Um, 
it it works and it's 180 dollars and it's got bowden and it, it's got a nice bed and then it's 180 dollars and it's got everything that you need in a delta and it prints pla beautifully down to well i've gone down to 0.12 and it's 180 dollars like <laughs> you know are you going to keep it uh yeah i am i'm i'm going to keep this one um, mainly because of the fact that it's a Delta. Um, because they look cool. Like, like I've said before to Anthony, they, they look more like a robot printing than, than a normal rep wrap printer. So when the visitors come and say, hey, you've got a 3D printer, I say, hey, look at this. You know, it looks really cool. All right, we'll put links to this in the description with our affiliate links if you wish to support the channel. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, it helps us to get more marketing power to get more gadgets in to review for you guys and uh, hit that notification bell you bet. Uh, and patreon's there if you also wish to subscribe uh, monthly for some behind the scenes and other little perks yeah. all right guys thanks see you next time